Hello folks, so this is uh, 2016 October November and paper 42. The question number is 9. This uh, question is concerned with the chapter uh, magnetic field of E2. E2. So it says that a stiff wire is held horizontally between the poles of a magnet. So you can see this wire. So it uh, is in 3D view. That's why it looks uh, slightly like a perspective. So actually this wire is horizontal and uh, it is in between these two poles. So it's a, a almost a U-shaped magnet with a slight, slightly protruded type of uh, poles here. As illustrated in Figure Nine One, when a constant current of uh, uh, six point zero ampere is passed, so let us name it as I, name it as I, uh, through the wire, there is an additional downward force on the magnet of zero point zero eight zero newton. So this is F. So it means that uh, this force is because of the magnetic field only. That means it is the Lorentz force. On figure 9.1, draw an arrow on the wire to show the direction of the current in the wire. Explain your answer. So depending on this statement, we have to find the, uh, the direction of current in this wire. So what it says is uh, there is an additional force of downward force of, of this much on the magnet. So that means this magnet this magnet is experiencing to a total downward force of 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 this 0 0.080 newton so it means that according to the rules of action and reaction action and reaction this wire should be experiencing a force of same amount of force same amount of force and it should be upward if the magnet is experiencing downward force the magnet should be should be uh, giving uh, an upward force of same value to the wire. So the force experienced by the wire is also equal to 0 0.080 Newton and it is in upward direction. It is in upward direction. So we have got to force on the wire equal to 0 0.080 Newton and it is upward. It is upward. Now the magnetic field goes from N to S. The force here is upward and the magnetic field is from N to S. So let us apply the left hand rule here. So we have force here, force in this direction, upward. And we have the magnetic field going from N to S. So it means it is going like this. And uh, the middle finger will point like this. So that means the current, so the force here, the magnetic field here, and the direction of current here. So that means in this wire, the current should be going from going from left to right like this so let us let us do it once again the force is upward upward and the magnetic field is going like this so this means the current should be here so force upward force upward magnetic field like this this is magnetic field this is force and current should be to the middle finger and other fingers so the current should be from left to right so current should be from left to right now the constant current of 6 ampere is now replaced by a low frequency sinusoidal current the root mean square value of this current is uh, 2.5 ampere so we have got this i nu is equal to i nu is equal to uh, and this is rms current so rms is equal to 2.5 amperes RMS current. So now what we have is uh, this current has been replaced by this. Now we have to find, calculate the difference between the maximum and the minimum forces now acting on the minus. So we have to calculate the force. So the, the force requires that, requires uh, the real value of the current, uh, real value of current in the wires. So the real value of current will be varying from peak to peak. So we have to find I peak here first. So this is I peak is equal to root 2 into IRMS equal to root 2 into 2.5 ampere. So if I do in the calculator, so uh, 2 uh, root into 2.5 equal to, so it becomes 3.5355 ampere and will be 3.54 ampere if I, I do the uh, roundup here. If I decide to use three significant figures here, so this is I peak. Now the value of the maximum value of force will be 
f max will be equal to f max will be equal to b into i peak into l but still we don't have this b here we still have don't have this b here so this b can be obtained from this equation so here what we have is the force experienced by the wire is equal to b into i i is a 6.06 .06 into l so that means that means b is equal to b is equal to f by 6 l equal to 0 0.080 by 6 l so we'll be using the same value here so that means f max in this case will be equal to b equal to 0 0.080 by 6 l into this i peak is 3.54 into this l so l and l gone so this will be equal to uh, 0 0.08 divided by 6 into 3.5 uh, 355 so real value i'm using so it gives me gives me 0 0.0472 newton f max now since it is peak current we'll have negative peak also so negative peak will give us a minus 3.54 if so then we have got uh, f minimum will be equal to minus of minus uh, this thing used here this thing used here it will be minus 0 0.0472 newton so the force will be varying from from 0 0.0472 newton to minus 0 0.0472 newton that means uh, if uh, this is uh, this much force upwards upward then it will vary till this much force downward so that the total range of forces this is delta or let us say this uh, uh, let us say range range is equal to this minus minus this it will be equal to 224774144 it is 9 0, 0.0 newton so this will be the range of the forces range of the forces so we can simply say it is 0 0.0944 newtons so that's the difference in the forces and this is the total answer